but no how it works. Yeah, this is called. So we, as you remember, somebody said, "Well, I can carve some stuff into uh, pieces of wood." So let's go. This is, this is the uh, fork of a. Okay, I'm checking what Ebach Esche means. Yeah, my English is not so good that I know uh, trees and stuff. Eber Esche. Eber Esche. Hmm. <coughs> Eben Holz. Nee, I don't think it's the same. Uh, it's a piece of wood. <laughs> it's a special tree. Uh, where did you find this? Well, if I c c just can't remember the symbols uh, you put in this magic uh, wood. Well, let's go. Didn't I tell you I, I will carve something special for you? Well, before you say it's not very beautiful. Uh, it has to be carved in this way. Eberschenholz is a very magical uh, piece of wood. Uh, legend tells it's pure and uh, free from evil of this world. That's uh, so. It's a very good weapon against the uh, over against uh, non-natural creatures. Just look at the aura that uh, surrounded this uh, piece of wood. Isn't it wonderful? Well, we now have uh, Eber Eschenstab, which helps us against, uh, I think, it was shadows. Okay, let's sell some stuff. But first, I think we have to go to the other village and talk with the girl which is in Tars. And we have to visit the graveyard too. Oh, we have so much stuff to do and so little time, so let's get going. Um, we found out that the name of the her boyfriend was Andre, so Andre. Christina, tell me about Andre Christopherik. Andre, my beloved Andre. I loved him more than my own life, but I I found out that I have to carry on living, even without him. I can only do one thing for him. I don't know who you are, but I have to ask you for a favor. It is dangerous, but uh, if you don't do it, if you don't do it, I will try it myself, and I don't think I will ha I will succeed. Uh, please, Christina, Christiana, I will do what I can, but I cannot promise anything. What shall I do? Andre is still alive. He is a walking dead, a zombie. I beg you to kill him, to free his soul so he can finally rest in peace. A zombie? A zombie? Are you sure? I believe you, Christiana, but Kirill never mentioned a son, uh, never mind that he's a zombie. I'm sure Andrew and I loved each other so much, I was engaged with him, and as a wedding person, Kirill wanted to uh, give us this fantastic diamond, the most fantastic diamond I ever saw. Um, shortly before our wedding, the tragedy began. And we was went sick and died uh, in a few days. Kirill's heart was broken. He lost his own son, and me, I lost my loved one. And we was buried, but Kirill didn't want to live with us such such, bleh, such sorrow. So um, Ivan and he dig him out uh, again stupidly, and went to the. Uh, Castle of the Dark Lord to uh, make a pact. Kirill? I thought Kirill told me every everything. 
I can't believe that he didn't mention his son Andre. And Deirdre didn't uh, say anything that she has a brother. You must ask Kirill about Andre. About Deirdre, I don't think she knows anything about this. She has a pure heart and something like this could shock her. You can ask her about, about Andre, but don't tell her the truth. Uh, dig out? Are you sure it was Kirill and Ivan who dig out uh, Andre's grave? Yes, I'm sure. After the death of my loved one, I wanted to uh, shed some tears on his grave, so I saw what they'd done to it. Packed. Do you know why? Do you have any idea why Kirill um, made a pact with the evil? Oh, what? Um, Verzweiflung. Verzweiflung. Oh, what desperation. Kirill told Andrew and me that the diamond was the biggest uh, present he could make us. It was of, from the wing of a lord and there was no other like it. This lord was Nikolai, Cairn's father, diamond. And Kirill uh, hoped this diamond, uh, he could trade this diamond for the life of his son. He thought Cain would, would want this diamond because it was it once belonged to his father. Yes, I think he will wish this, but the Dark Lord doesn't uh, bother with uh, witches. Kirill and his uh, servant couldn't keep the zombie un con under control when they went on the way home. Uh, desperate and not able to kill his son, even though it, he was no man um, anymore, uh, Kirill locked the zombie in a room upstairs. Kill. He wasn't able to kill this thing, but it has to eat to stay alive, or? Yes, I think so. I don't really want to think about how many men and women have to had to die to feed Kibble's monster. This thing is not Andre and it has to be killed. Room. You said this thing is still in the house? Wait a second, this would uh, explain the scratching noises. Yes, I saw everything through the living room, uh, through the bedroom. Kibble saw me, but he never asked about it. I think it's end it, that Andrew is still alive in this room. Well, we found out quite a lot of stuff, so let's confront Kirill. <coughs> the village. But first, I want a beer. Do, 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 do. So let's talk with those people. <coughs> oh, that's a singer. Hmm. It happened under our eyes. I can't believe it. <coughs> I can still hear the pains, uh, scream pains. Um, yeah, pains of. Screams of pain and this gruesome howling and growling. He just wanted to go quick to his room. How did the werewolf go to the first um, through the f uh, window in the first floor? What do you think, Seth? 